the climate change bill is important because mobile sources are number one um, source of pollution. And so when Governor Schwarzenegger came into office, he promised to legally defend the tailpipe emission bill because he understood the importance of, of climate change. Because when I ran for governor uh, in 2003, I wanted to uh, take this job seriously and also protect the environment, even though I was a Republican. I didn't see it as a party issue, I thought it was a people's issue. Because I felt very strongly that there is no democratic air or republican air, that we all breathe the same air and there is no democratic water or republican water, we all drink the same water, so therefore we all have to be responsible in protecting that. The electric industry admitted 108.4 millions of metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalent. As a result, to date, uh, it is roughly about 64. Uh, we've almost cut it, almost not entirely, in half. And that represents one of the largest, if not the largest, reduction in greenhouse gas emissions, empirically speaking, in the state of California. The idea that you could blend together the very strong desire of the Democrats in the legislature for a real tough uh, uh, program of regulation and uh, their desire uh, in some cases for a tax but they really because they really wanted the revenue to be able to do something with uh, with the uh, market-based program that the governor wanted that was the toughest thing about pulling together the first scoping plan without a doubt was to be able to put these two things together and to basically have them both and they knew that the only thing the only way we can be successful with our vision is by having a great execution and I think that's why political leadership matters at the end of the day because uh, all the uh, the statistical analysis and the empirical evidence that, that is brought forth um, uh, is important that elected officials and political leaders and, and regulators have access to the information that you have put together. Uh, it's really uh, critical that we move beyond the, yes, we can have strong environmental rules and a good economy. We've heard that for years. You can't find a politician, even Republicans mostly, now say that. I think any time you want to do something really big, like what we are talking about here, where you redo the transportation system in California, or if it is, uh, you know, getting off fossil fuels over a period of time and lowering greenhouse gas, all this stuff, it is like 20, 30 years. And so this way we don't kill people, but it is a, th I guarantee you, that is a 30 year plan because you cannot find the money to do this from one year to the next, nor will you have the time to do it from one year to the next. So it takes time to do that, but people don't have that vision. So that's what it, uh, it takes. I think that Mary's right, it is a long-term plan that you have to have. You have to have the courage. Yes, it costs a lot of money, nothing is cheap. But I think that if you communicate it the right way, I think that people will go for it. If you lay it out the right way and say, this is what the, this state will look like.